looking behind. If we can have our first uh, slide. There are so many words that we can describe uh, that can also refer to as looking behind. We can call it look back. Uh, we can call it um, remember. We can call it remind. Flashback, revive. Looking behind is just an act of turning to the opposite direction. And uh, turning to the opposite direction is like when I'm looking this way, and I want to look behind. My behind is this side, and I have to turn and look the other direction. And this one can happen into two dimensions. It can happen in physical dimension, and it can also happen in spiritual dimension. I can still look back without using my body. Let, let's say, for example, when I'm in church here, and I remember my kids who are at home. It, it's like I'm looking back towards my home while physically I'm in church. Yeah. Looking back can affect us in one way or another. Looking back can help us in one way or another. So we are going to discuss this uh, presentation into two elements. We are going to look into the benefits of looking back or looking behind and the, uh, the disadvantage or the consequences of looking behind. Sometimes we have to look behind because of the issues that happen to us. And sometimes we don't have to look behind. So choose you now, today, which one is relevant at what, at what time. So there are times in life that we have to look we have to remember things. We have to remind ourselves of things that happened to us. And there is time we don't need to remember things that happened to us. So the first uh, point is about the benefits. Benefits of looking behind. And um, the first benefit, we may locate it in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. When we go to the second slide, looking behind can serve as a review of bad issues that happen to us in the aim of seeking to improve. So it is very important in this situation or in this context, it's very important to look behind when we want to review the bad things in the aim of improving. In Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 1, we are seeing the wandering of the Israelites in the desert. Chapter 2, verse 1, I read. Then when we turned back and set out towards the desert along the route to the Red Sea, as the Lord had directed me, then for a long time we made our way around the hill country of Seir. Then the Lord said to me, you have made your way around this hill country long enough. Now turn and off. The children of Israel were moving around without looking behind. Just go, they move around the mountains, they move around the mountains. Then they find themselves coming back to the same point where they were like in a month. They were in the same place in a man because there are no roads in, uh, in the bush. And God said them, the rounds that you've made in this place are long enough. Now turn yeah. north. And when they turned the other direction, that's when they got a chance to continue with their journey. Sometimes we have to look back to refresh ourselves to see maybe something is going wrong in this direction. And we have to turn and see maybe the other direction is better for us. Improvement in life comes when we are able to look into things that are happening unto us. And here I'm not saying only uh, physical looking. These people were directed physically that they are marching around the, the, the 
mountains, they were told, no, look, turn the other side. Because when you go this round, you come again, you go the same round, you are likely to come at the same point. But if you turn the other direction, you are not going to come back to this place. Yeah. And it took a different path, then they continued with their journey. Sometimes in our lives, there are things that happen to us, then we keep on repeating the same issue. But when we look behind and say, hang on a minute, what am I trying to do here? It's one year now. And when I pray, I just pray for one, one minute, the whole year, I turn and start something different. Yeah. Amen. And you can only do that if you are able to look behind. Amen. Looking behind means you can refer to your past to improve your present and to guide your future. Amen. Yes. Uh, the other advantage of looking behind is that it can help us remember the goodness of God into one's life. When you, we, we take the example of Nehemiah, Nehemiah requested a chance to go to Jerusalem to rebuild the wall. And when he was given a chance, he gathered people, he went with them. He continued with the work of rebuilding. Despite challenges of Sanballat and this group who wanted to demolish the, the wall, they persisted with, uh, with the work. In chapter 13, because he had to go back to Babylon to take a report, and when he came back, he found some few things are not going well around the temple, the temple courtyard. So he had to do some reforms. At the end of the reforms, he said, God, remember me. When you read verse 14, remember me, O Lord, of all these good works that I've done. Sometimes we have to say that to the Lord. There are good things that we've already done to the Lord, but sometimes we fail to acknowledge them, and sometimes we are not ready to remind God of the good things that he has done to us. But Nehemiah here, what he did, he reminded God and said, remember me, I've done all this, remember me, place me somewhere. <clears throat> he was able to remember the journey he went from Babylon to gather people to mobilize the rebuilding of the wall. In Psalms 46, you will hear also uh, David saying about acknowledging the power of God and saying, God is our refuge and our strength. So we don't have to worry about anything. And I would also say, God is our refuge and our strength. And Australia will have a good leader. We will not worry about anything. So when we have to remember things that happen to us, when we remember the goodness of God, our prayer system can even change. Sometimes we keep on blaming God of things that are happening to us. But when we remember the good things that are happening to us, we say thank you, Lord. Yes. The only power to say thank you Thank you comes from remember. Yeah, yeah. Hello, am I talking to someone? Yes. Yes. You can only say thank you when you remember the goodness that has been done to you. Amen. Look at the, the parable of Jesus in Luke chapter 17, verse 11, about the ten uh, men who are hid uh, from leprosy. Ten of them came to Jesus and said, May you make us whole. If you, if, if you wish. Then Jesus told them, go and show yourself to the priest. And on their way, they got healed. Only one of them could remember. And said, go, oh, look at my body now, I'm okay. Oh, okay, wait. Is it because the other man told us to go and show ourselves to the priest? And imagine they were still on the way going to, to show themselves to the priest. He turned back 
He turned the other direction and went back to Jesus. Say, look at me now. I'm fine. I'm okay. Thank you very much. Jesus was surprised. Said, no, you were ten of you. Where are the other men? <laughs> and this one was from Samaria. And the others were just around today. They couldn't remember to go back and say thank you. Sometimes in life we have to remember things that are happening to us and acknowledge them. Someone can do something good to us, but it's not just someone. It's God who inspired the other person to do good things unto us. And sometimes we also have to remember, sometimes we were, in, uh, we, we were sick, we prayed to God and he healed us. We have to remember the goodness of God yeah. and say thank you. Yeah. Sometimes we were praying uh, to get a baby and here comes the baby. We have to remember to say thank you. Look at the life of Anna. Anna prayed to get someone and she remembered the vow that she made. She said, God, if you give me a son, I'll offer him to you. And what happened? After three years of staying with the baby, a baby of three years, then you take the baby to the temple. And the baby starts living with the, the other people you don't know. You come without any baby. How many of us can do that? It's not easy. You have been barren for ages. Then you get a baby. After three years, you give him to somebody else. Eli, live with that baby. And guess what? Anna was blessed with babies because she was able to remember. Sometimes we make simple, simple vows. God, if you help me in this journey, I'll do this and this. When you get there, you forget. Yeah. Yes. So try your best not to put vows here and there because you may forget. And this one does not mean that you have to write them down. Sometimes the paper can get lost. You have to pray to God to give you ability to remember things. Not the appointments. I'm not talking about the appointment to the doctor here. <laughs> I'm talking about something spiritual. Something that will always be in your heart to remember things that have happened to you and how you can transfer those things into uh, thanksgiving. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notification, like our videos, comment and share with friends and families. Thank you for watching.